wandering into the night, wanting a place to hide this weary soul, this backbone. And I tried with all my might, but I just can't win the fight. I'm slowly drifting, a vagabond. And just when I ran out of road, I met a man I didn't know. And he told me that I was not alone. Yeah. He picked me up, he turned me around, he placed my feet on solid ground. I thank the master, yeah. I thank the savior, because he healed my heart, he changed my name. Forever free, I'm not the same. I thank the master, I thank the savior, I thank God. Yeah. Oh, and I cannot deny what I see. Got no choice but to believe my doubts some burning like ashes in the wind. Oh, so long to my old friend Burden and bitterness So you can just keep it moving Now you ain't welcome here, no From now till I walk the streets of gold I'll sing of how you saved my soul This wayward son has found his way back Wherever you're watching from, you are in 
in for a power two hours tonight, all the way from our USA studios, Pastor Tracy Harris. Glory to God. Welcome, Brother Andre. Welcome. Hallelujah. Great to have you with us. Woo! Blessed be the name of the we, Lord. We're going to have a great time. We are going to have a marvelous time. And I feel the presence of the Lord yet tonight. Oh, I mean, the room is full of his glory. It's going to be a good night. Yes, sir. Absolutely. And I'm so excited to have you with us, Pastor Tracy Harris, live in the flesh with us right here. It's going to be well, absolutely amazing. His program has been such a blessing. Yes. His program has been amazing as it's going all across the African continent, all over the UK, and right here in the United States of America. But uh, what an honor and a privilege to introduce to you a good friend of mine, a man yes, that sir. I know God's got great things in store for us together. Absolutely. There's no doubt about it. And what a time to be alive. What sir. a time to be alive. And when we connected, we knew it was a God moment. Uh, at that moment, you know, we sat at the table, yeah. and as only God can do, uh, when our spirit men just latched, right. and you opened your mouth, I recognized not only the spirit of faith, but an unfeigned faith. Right. You know, I don't say that very often, but I think this is one of the things Paul told to Timothy when he said, you have an imparted, unfeigned faith. It was first in your grandmother, then in your mother. Wow. That's right. And if you follow the inward witness, you can know that. Yes. You know, Brother Andre, I didn't mean to jump into this, but I mean, yeah, the only no. so strong when you yeah. said it, I, I, I just realized there are so many people watching, especially in the last days, mm -hmm. that are hearing so many voices. Mm -hmm. Come on. And they're Come on. wondering, which voice is the Holy Ghost? How do I separate this out? And which is true? And Jesus said it would be that way. Mm -hmm. You know, 1 Corinthians 14, Paul talked about that no voice is without signification. Right. It's that right. Greek word dunamis. It literally means there's a power source behind every voice. Right. And there's no voice, even a close second to the Holy Ghost. Yes. But we'll never act on it if we don't know it's Him. Yes. Yeah. And my point is, I knew the moment you opened your mouth. Wow. By the Spirit, you know, the inward witness, that there was an eternal connection. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I say that to say that though I've not known you all that long in the natural, yeah. it seems like I've known you forever. Wow. Wow. And uh, such a joy to meet you. And I'm so excited about yes. what Faith TV is doing in the earth Amen. and what it will do. Amen. Come on. And Come on. my goodness, and what your partners are doing all over the world. Yeah. Come on. It's, it's, it's incredible what God is doing. What he's done tonight is 411 nights of live transmission <laughs> since the 18th of March, glory. 2020. Glory, glory, wow, glory, glory to God. 411. So come on, I, I want you to get some welcomes to Pastor Tracy Harris on the, on the program, okay? Come on, get on Facebook, My Faith. Dot TV and uh, come on, give a big South African, African welcome wherever you are Thank all over the Hallelujah. continent. If you're in Nigeria, Kenya, Namibia, Mozambique, Botswana, Swaziland, come on, Uganda. All right, I want some of you to get online right now. Go to myfaith.tv and uh, on the Facebook page quickly and give a shout out to Pastor Tracy Harris. It's going to be absolutely a glorious, glorious time to, tonight. I believe it, Jen. We're going to have a good time. Are you ready? You know, we have been building up for so long now, specifically for this month, believing that this is the month where we are set up for the glory flood of God or the flood of His glory, whichever That's right. way. That's right. you know, that is really what He's doing right now. The purpose of God, and He makes it so clear in His Word, is to fill this earth with His glory as the waters cover the sea. And we know He's going to do it through His people. That's we right. have no That's doubt. Right. And so I'm so excited about what God is doing across the nations of this world. He is stirring up an excellent spirit. I really believe that. An excellent yeah, spirit yeah. in His people. It is a spirit of faith. It is a spirit of victory. And it comes with joy. Come on. An irrepressible on. joy. That's what the word speaks about. Absolutely. Hallelujah. So, Glory to God. We're so preach, man. <laughs> Glory to God. She's on it. I told you. Woo! <laughs> this is it. This is what we're here for. And so we just want to thank every one of you that have been tuning in to these two hours. They have been powerful. And they've all been about the heart of Jesus. That's right. That's what it's all That's been right. about. Remember, He's coming back for His church. Absolutely. That is a glorious church. church. That is a good representative of who He is and who His Father is. So thank you for tuning in. I know that during these two hours, if you keep your heart open That's right. and you allow the Holy Spirit to stir up 
His work on the inside of you. Remember, His presence is at work in you right now. And as you yield to Him and you take the words to heart, even in our time of praise, even in our time of worship, every minute of this broadcast is on purpose for you, for His purpose. So take it in. Enjoy every moment, embrace every moment, and watch what the Spirit of God is going to set ablaze on the inside of you, that you're going to be positioned to receive that flood of His glory. Welcome. That's right. Matt and Kelly, great to have you back with us as well. And uh, I know you had a good little vocational break. We did. But uh, you're looking a little tan there, Matt. I know. I feel like I look like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was out in the sun too much. But uh, no, we had a wonderful time. But we sure missed you guys. We yeah. missed uh, we missed being here in the studio and in the presence of God with all you guys. And so um, it's great. To, I can't see all your faces, but I'm sure you look great. Um, <laughs> we missed you. We missed worshiping with you. We missed being in the presence with you and, and, and uh, hearing the word together. So we're really excited yeah. about this week. I'm so thankful Pastor Tracy's here. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be an amazing week. So it's it's going to be incredible. Great to have the band with us and each Absolutely. and every one of you, all our ambassadors. Yeah. All right. Welcome to you, every one of you, Facebook ambassadors. We love you so much. You're there helping us comment, helping us pray with people yep. online, yep. Uh, all of the prayer warriors around the nation, all of those on the telephone lines right now, uh, fielding all the calls from around the world. We want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for who you are. All right, thank you for your part in this, because that's the power of partnership. Oh, absolutely. You know, it's not just about us up front. It's about all the camera people, the operators behind the scenes. It's all of those technical guys. I'm thinking even in South Africa, all the streams that are going, all the different flows and and, uh, cables and uh, satellites and everything that's going around the world this week is all going to be to the glory of God because of your commitment, your involvement, and your help carrying the signal all over. And you as a prayer warrior and as a partner to the network. You you know, we've stepped into May. We're officially in the month of May right now. And I'm telling you something, the power of God, the supernatural power of God. We've been talking about a flood. We've been talking about what's coming up at the end of this particular month because from the 23rd, to the 30th, we're going to change location from here and we're going to relocate to Tampa, Florida. And uh, we are going to be bringing you Dr. Rodney Howard Brown and his whole week of the flood. It is going to be off the hook. All right. And I hope you're ready because there is a flood coming. I said to you the month of the flood coming. It starts tonight. Are you ready? This is taking place from the 22nd To the 30th of May, it is the flood. What we are about to see is the coming together of the upper and the lower springs, resulting in a flood. A flood of financial blessing, a flood of supernatural miracles. I'm talking about a tidal wave of God. You cannot stop what God is about to do. There's a wave coming. And so the Lord said to me, it will be as though you're walking through a canyon in Arizona, not a cloud in the sky. It is hot, it is dry. Suddenly, around the canyon wall comes this wall of water because you didn't know it was raining 40 miles away. You didn't see it. It was off the horizon. And he said it should come. and we are going to bring it to you each and every night right here 
on God. faith today. It's going to be powerful. I, I sense, Pastor Tracy, this month is the month of a flood of God's Praise glory. God. It's His goodness. We're starting this month off. There is coming a faith like we've never yes. had before. God is going to do something this month. Absolutely. Uh, in fact, we were... Uh, we had a daily program last fall, praying over the nation as so many did and right. so forth. He, he asked me to commit 90 days. In the middle of that 90 day moment, the glory of God at one of those noontime broadcasts dropped in the room in a very tangible way. And uh, I had had a supernatural visitation from the Lord about this nation in the first of May of last year. And uh, just a simple thought about that now right. is I was in some flight training, didn't expect it. I'm thinking about airplanes. Yeah, and Lord yeah. visited me with a night vision and simply said, and I saw like in a planning room in Washington, D.C., in the intelligence, and he said there is, there is a retaliation against the taking out of the leaders of, of wow. Islam. Wow. And he said it's about to hit the nation. And he said it's going to come in domestic terrorism. That was 10 days before all that went down in Minneapolis right. and our nation began to be rocked. Right. So in the fall, he visited us and he said, one year from the event Come on. that precipitated the chaos in our nation Come on. Come on. by Pentecost, Come on. he was going to unleash the beginnings of his glory. Oh, this last wow, end time. Hallelujah. Do you, see, you hear what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, when you started, it all came flooding back. Come flooding. On, come on. It all came <laughs> flooding back to come me on. when you were announcing it, and I saw that clip, and, and, and I thought, Lord, I don't have the, the, the transcript of that prophecy. I'm going to call my office and get that. Right, right. And uh, over the next couple of days, at least we'll have it. Yeah. But the point is, this month, Come on. Holy Spirit has targeted this month Thank you, Jesus. Come on. for a supernatural Come on. portal. Thank you, Lord. Come on. Thank I'm telling you, God. for a supernatural portal. Amen. <laughs> Glory Amen. be to God. Amen. Amen. Come on. And, Come the, on. I, and, and, and you know, we don't normally give times, but this is a Kairos moment. Yes, right. It is. right. This is one of those moments Come that, uh, you know, sometimes we say words like Kairos and whatever, and we yeah, assume yeah, that yeah, everybody yeah. understands what that means. But we, uh, we know it's a supernatural moment of the outpouring that, that we've prayed over into is the body of Christ. Right. Yes. And we are receiving our harvest. <laughs> and I'm telling you, it is going Woo. from sea to shining sea. Fine. You're going to be on daily TV. <laughs> Glory to God. It Come is on. going to be awesome. Come Amen. on. Amen. <laughs> wow. So good. Wow. It's so good. It's, it's, it's like saying. when you spoke about that moment, the, the Taurus moment, and I know it's when, when heaven interrupts earth. Yes. That's exactly what is happening. And we can expect that to be a daily occurrence. Absolutely. We can expect that because we are carriers of the glory of God. That's right. We are carriers of Absolutely. His presence. That's why we are on this earth to represent the Father well, but to carry the manifest presence of God in a way that we are the salt and we are the light. But there comes such a momentum that pushes it. I just I feel that so strongly in my spirit Absolutely. right now. That it's not like it has been anything right. that you've ever experienced. I can just sense Him now. Nothing that you've ever experienced in the past. Mm. Even those moments where you've had those, those encounters with God that are uh, inexplainable, but you could never deny them. Those moments have been so precious for you and for many of you, they've been monumental. But I believe that we are entering in the place right now where we will have those moments that is nothing compared to what you had before. It's like the former and the latter rain that God is beginning and is now pouring out on His children, on His people, on those that are willing to reciprocate to God that same passion that He has for His children, that we give it straight back to Him, enjoying who He come is. On, it's on. in that time where you've learned how to lock into the intimacy with Jesus Christ that in your own moments with Him, those intimate moments where you've known what it is to latch onto Him in His presence, that is just going to be become like a momentum on the inside of you that you're going to be living out those moments. Right. That every place right. on which your That's foot right. treads, that glory Come wells on. up in you and <laughs> goes with you. That you're going to find every place you go, you carry the atmosphere of heaven. Mm -hmm. That it becomes oh, your geez. reputation. Yeah. Yeah. Your reputation of being the one who carries the presence of God, the glory of God. And there is nothing that can stop 
the flood of His presence when His children become the glory lights that He has purposed us to be. That's right. Praise God. You know what I feel even right now? Right now, I just feel a stirring wow. in my heart. <laughs> I, I'm so going to ask every one of you across the network, whoever has access to Facebook, Jesus. Would you just pick up your device right now? Jesus. Would you pick up your phone right now? If you've got Facebook, YouTube, wherever you are, I want you to, I want you to log on quickly. Come on, just, just do this with me. I want you to get in with us into this flow of what God is doing. I, I feel Jesus. we have declared the month of May being the month of a flood. And I want you to say, Lord, I'm ready for your flood. Lord, I receive Thank your you, flood. Jesus. I want you to do it at the beginning Thank of May. You, I want you to log on to our page. Yes. Go to myfaith.tv, our Facebook page. <laughs> go to the live feed. Okay, go to the live feed. And in the comments section on the live feed, I want you to put there, flood me, Lord. All right, I, 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 want you, I want you to make a declaration. I want you to make a declaration. We have declared this month, the month of the flood. It's going to be powerful. We, it's going to culminate in those meetings from Tampa Jesus. from the 23rd to the 30th. And Pastor Tracy, it's not by accident you here today because we're kicking off May. We, we're going with the flow of the Holy Ghost like never before. Absolutely. It's going to get stronger and stronger Hallelujah. and stronger. Yes. And you need to jump in. You need to jump in with it. You need to get a declaration <laughs> in the ground. And you need to say, the flood is here. All right, flood me, Lord. Fill me, fill me. I want more of you. Come on, wherever you are. If you, you say, I don't have Facebook. I don't have all of these different things. That's okay. Just lift your hands there right now. Give a shout out to God. Say, Lord, fill me, Lord. Lord, here I am. Flood me, Lord. Flood me right now. I want more of you. I want more of you. Every one of you in the band, just say, I want more of you, Lord. Every one of you on camera right now, every one of you in the team right now, just say, Lord, this is my month. This is my month. A flood of the goodness of God. A flood of His glory. It's a glory cloud right now. I'm telling you, there's coming a cloud. That prophetic word, there's coming a cloud of God's glory over His people. It's going to rest on every one of your homes, every one of you, wherever you are. Right now, I'm telling you, your business, your church, your children, your school. Right now, I'm telling you, that hospital bed, that prison cell right now. Oh, come on, more of you get that word in. Get in on Facebook right now. Say, the flood is coming into my home. Just declare it. Say, the flood is coming coming into my business. The flood is coming into my church. The flood is coming into my children. I'm telling you, I declare to you a flood of the glory of God, Pastor Tracy, tonight in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It is being born as we speak. Hallelujah. That's right. You know, one of, one of uh, my great uh, mentors, yeah. spiritual fathers, oh, an impartation yeah. of that years ago, Brother Oral Roberts. Yeah. He said, not a trickle, yeah. not a stream, yeah. not a river, Amen. but a flood. Glory be to God. And I have a word from the Lord right here about this glory. But before I say that, I need to say, while you were talking, I saw it so clearly. Yeah. The Lord spoke to me just recently, and he said, son, he said, it took Noah a long time to build the ark. But it didn't take me very long to fill it. <laughs> Glory be to God. And I'm telling you, we've been building, 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 building. Glory to God. We've been digging ditches, but the rain is falling. There's a trench around the altar. There's wood stacked up. The prophets of Baal have been cutting their self. They've been calling on their false gods. But the Lord God of heaven is about to send the lightnings of the glory of God. It's going to lick up the water out of the very trenches of the altars. I'm telling you, there is a flood like a vast wind blowing prairie fire that's going to sweep all over the earth and then the end shall come but come that'll on. be a while this gospel must be preached come on. Come and he on. has promised to do a quick work you know and uh, I'm telling you he's about to fill come containers on. Come on, I, feel it. I, I, I would say to everybody that is tempted to draw back to spare not to pull back I would say like the prophet said to the lady now I know I understand that this is Old Testament. We have the same God on, overall. Same. These yeah. principles are all the same. Top and shadow. Because the truth is that the oil only stopped flowing when there was not another vessel. <laughs> and so God didn't determine the limits of the outpouring. The vessels did. Come on. Wow. And, wow. and when Jesus broke that fish and bread on the, on the mountainside, well, actually in the desert, 
no live boats, no fishing nets, no river, no hope, you know, not even enough money to buy the bread. At least 20,000 people. Right. I'm telling you, Brother Andre, Sister Jenny, that many people talk about Jesus feeds the 5,000. Right. Well, you know what? That is almost a, a really misrepresentation. Come on. Because right. Jesus didn't feed them. The miracle happened in the disciples' hands. Mm -hmm. And it was not one miracle. It was... Every time they broke a fish, it was a miracle. Come on. There were 20,000 miracles at once. Right. God's been talking to me about miracles in multiple cities. Come on. Come on. He's Come doing on. it on Come this on. network and lives right now. There's a miracle moment for whoever's watching all right. over this room right. and right. all over the world. And so right. I want to read Isaiah 4 if we have time. I know we have breaks and worship and yeah. we're flowing. You You're talking about the glory. Listen to this now. Isaiah says in, verse, in, cha in Isaiah chapter 4. I mean, it came alive at me when you, you, took, you guys were talking. And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion and that remains in Jerusalem shall be called holy. Even everyone that is written among the living in Jerusalem. Now listen to the next three verses. When the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and shall have plugged, purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning, the Lord will create, now listen, on every dwelling place of Mount Zion and upon her assemblies. Glory to God. Wow. A cloud and smoke by day. Come on. Come on. The shining of a fire by night. Yeah. And yeah. upon all, the <laughs> glory shall be for a defense. Wow. And there should be a tabernacle for the shadow in the daytime from heat and from the refuge and the covert from the storm from the rain. You know, the scripture talks about the canopy. He literally calls it a canopy. Amplify Classic says this, and as I read it, this is just a simple point. The Lord will create over the whole site in every dwelling place of Mount Zion over her assemblies of cloud and smoke by day, a shining of flaming fire by night, for over all the glory shall be a canopy of defense, of divine love and protection. He literally says, I will do it over every corporate gathering. Come on. I will do it over every assembly. <laughs> I'm going to do it in every home. Come on. Come and on. And I'm going to do it over every person. Yeah. Yeah. So I want you to know the glory <laughs> is about to visit. You're going to be from many pastors listening to me right now all Come over the world. On. Come on. You're going to step into your pulpits. I'm saying, and I'm going to prophesy to you, many of you within the next 30 days. You're going to step up in on the resurrection day. And right in the middle of your message, you're going to say, I can't. I, it's just like you're going to become frozen. And you're going to say, I, 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 can't, I can't say another word. I can't. He heaven is here. Come and on, heaven and earth on. are going to collide in your Sunday morning worship. And I'm telling you, you're going to come to yourself. And many of you, you may be the only one standing or you may be the only one staggering to your feet with everybody laid out. Fearfulness, Isaiah said, has surprised the hypocrites. He's literally going to invade entire assemblies in a moment just come like on, that. Come on, and I'm telling, come on. oh, glory to God. I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and prophesy that there'll be moments, and you'll hear reports of it, that they'll begin to pray. All of a sudden, people will fall to their knees and begin to intercede. And there'll be many people in the crowd that will see as if the roof were not there. Come on. And they're going to see over into the glory, the supernatural advent, if you will, in the spirit realm of what's happening with the Lord of hosts enveloping the atmosphere, carrying out sudden and supernatural faith projects that have been a long time coming to pass. Right. He's going right. to remove discouragement. He's going to remove the shame. I'm telling you, despise not the day of small beginnings. His hands have laid the foundation, right. but Jesus. he is coming yeah. suddenly yeah. to his yeah. temple. Yeah. And you're about to see major faith projects suddenly, supernaturally finished by the glory of God. When Ezekiel and Ezekiel 1 saw the angels and the cherubim, and we could describe them, and we will sometime, but I mean, they're like whirling wheels within a wheel. Right. And when it went up, they went up. When they went down, they went down. And the movement, and, and the Amplified uses the Hebrew word, and it simply says, the construction of them. And I just want to prophesy to you that while you have been, so to speak, seemingly, and I don't mean bound because they're, we're by no means bound here. You get it? Yeah. But geographically limited for what seemed like a delay in the pushing forward in South Africa and your footprint over all the earth. I'm telling you by the power of the name of Jesus, by the authority of Almighty God, He has supernaturally released construction angels, opening angels. He is literally taking the key and opening, opening the nations of the earth. 
and what the enemy meant to slow you down. He'll would to God he never did this to you because he's about to give you a greater footprint in the earth than you've ever dreamed. There are some doors that are about to open for you, saith the Spirit of the Lord. And you need to be prepared to walk through them for you need to understand by the Spirit of grace that the dreams of your heart that have been in your heart for decades are about to become fulfilled. These are the days of fulfillment for Faith TV, for Andre and Jenny Ray Bear, all over the earth. Get ready for both hands to be full of harvest. It's harvest time, and it will come suddenly to your seed and to your seed seed all over the earth. Wow. And you're about to see a gathering of spiritual sons and daughters that's going to overwhelm you. You're going to say, what are, we, what are we going to do with all these spiritual children? And your children are going to inherit the dark regions of the earth, and they'll become light when they get there. I'm telling you, but I literally see those construction angels over that studio, and you need to just really pray over into it. I just really see by the Spirit Jesus. of God, it's going to open for you to move forward sooner than you're expecting. Amen. Amen. There's a lot to do here, Amen. a lot of movement, Tampa and all that. Be prepared because he's going to issue you a sudden opening Wow! Wow! into your dreams. Thank you, Father. Bless you, Jesus. And I'm telling you on everybody watching right now by the Spirit of God, you need to know there's a glory on your assembly. There's a glory on your dwelling place, which is your house. Come on. And then there's a glory, it says, on every person. Amen. A canopy of defense of divine love and protection. Amen. Right. The glory of the Lord right. is His very presence. It's movable. It's not geographical. <sighs> yeah, yeah. When you get in your car and go home, he, that glory is in the car with you. It's upon every person. When we were in the airplane coming here, that glory... Right. And we are, as she said, this treasures in earthen vessels. That's right. Yes. That's right. Too much of us are looking for the glory to come upon us. <laughs> and the glory is going to come out of us. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> a flood. A flood. I'm telling you, there's a flood coming. <laughs> church all by myself over here. <laughs> oh. Oh, praise oh. the Lord. This, this, this makes you want to get up and run around this place, but there's not oh, much space to run. No. <laughs> oh. 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 Wow. The king of glory is coming in. Come on. Lift come up on. your hands on you gates that the king of glory may come in. Glory yeah, to God. Yeah. Gates don't have heads. We're the gates. Come on. Come on. Come on. Glory to wow, God. Wow, wow, wow. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh. Listen, you, you, you better receive this. You better receive this word for you. This is a word when you are a partner to this network, when you are a partner to the vision of what God's doing, this word is for you as well. That's how it works. Yeah. There's a strong yeah. word here. God's yeah. got something. Yeah. There's, a, there's a movement. There's a, oh, there's, oh, a there's a major move. There is a major move by the Spirit of God. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You know, God, God told Moses to call out the 70 elders, mm. even Joshua. And he said, lay your hands on him in front of the congregation. And we know the law of contact and transmission and transference. Mm. Yes. Moses, Joshua, Elijah, Elijah, Jesus to his church. Yes. We cannot forget. He said, he said, that is my name. He talked about the Lord God Almighty. That is my name and my glory I will not give to another. Come on, come on. Faith in the name of Jesus will cause him. He and his name are one. Mm. And when we develop our faith in that name, the glory, the very glory that was in the book of Acts that was on his followers. <laughs> come on. It's come on, on us this day. On, He's the same. On. And and I'm just saying to you that that same thing, well, when Moses was led to do that, the Lord said this phrase. Mm. He said, put some of your honor on him. And when you track it, and Moses talked about, Lord, I want to see your glory. Mm -hmm. And he began to talk about his presence. Don't just leave me up with an angel. 
this is what separates us, that you would go with us, mm. that we would be the people of your presence. Mm. Actually, God mm. made a covenant with them. Right. He said, I will do miracles. A lot of people don't know that there's just more than the old and new covenant. The Bible says we're not strangers from the covenants of promise. And one of the covenants is found in Exodus 34, 10. Mm. He said, behold, I will covenant with you. It's my covenant people to do miracles, wonders wow. among wow. you. Wow. There's actually a covenant of miracles mm. bought and paid for by the blood, but it can only be found in the glory. Mm. Numbers 21 says that. Numbers 21 says, my glory and all my miracles, which I did amongst you. When we see a miracle in manifestation, that's the glory of manifestation. The word became flesh and we beheld his glory. Mm. Mm. So when somebody doesn't have half a leg and that amputated leg grows out and God creates a new leg and foot, we just saw his glory manifest. It's not always this fire and cloud. and No, it manifests itself in the signs, the wonders, the miracles. Anytime you see a divine interruption of natural law mm. and God does something supernaturally, there's right. a glory in that. Right. Simply am right. saying, and I'm leading around to what you said, mm. Moses with Joshua and those 70 elders, he said, put some of your glory. And when Moses prayed for them, the spirit that was on Moses. Mm. Mm. Now think about where really it, it came from the burning bush. That was the glory manifestation. That's right. But think about Mount Sinai. Come on. And he says, this glory right. is greater. That's right. The glory of the latter house pales in comparison to this. Mm. Mm. And my point is, he said, some of your honor. And his spirit came on those 70 elders. Mm. Now I want to talk about partnership with this network. Yes. If we don't go there, they can't. Right. And the fact that this unfeigned faith, you know, when I opened the book, I didn't, I did not come in here intending to say that. Right. I'm, I'm not a flatterer. I just say what the Holy Ghost says. But that unfeigned, that simple, sincere faith, there's a partnership with it with heaven. Heaven's so pleased. Mm -hmm. And I want to say to every partner here, and I want you to understand partnership is so much more. Certainly it will include your finances because he'll lead you. God doesn't. You understand, he gives because he loves. Mm -hmm. But the spirit of the glory you're pressing into can come on them. Come on. Should come on them. Come on. Come will on. come on them. Right. If they'll connect with that anointing through partnership. Mm -hmm. Because it is an absolute supernatural law of the spirit mm -hmm. that God is giving these people and anyone who will an opportunity. Not just to help you get your assignment done, but the Lord right. is among those that help you. Yes. Right. So this right. spirit, just like Moses to the followers, mm. the spirit of the glory That's that this right. network is stepping into That's right. will come on the partners. Jesus. Jesus. Um, wow. Please stop me at any moment. No, no, because no, this, no, but no, I, no, but no, I, no. I just see something so clearly. Yeah. Jesus. Amos prophesied in the Old Testament. Mm. And he said, I will cause it to rain on one city, yes. but not on another city. Yes. Mm -hmm. And two or three people, two or three cities, towns, will wander to that one city to drink water. Right. And, you know, the scripture you used about the glory of the Lord will cover the earth like the waters cover the sea. Um, that is absolutely true. No doubt about it. But we can't understand it carnally. That's right. Because carnally, there's wickedness in the earth. Uh, like Jesus said, the poor you have with you always. Right. There's gross darkness here, but the glory's coming on us. Yeah, yeah. So even though it's covering the earth, that doesn't mean that you don't need to recognize where the glory is and make a choice to get into that glory. That's what Joshua did. He hung out in there even when Moses came out. That's right. And in Isaiah 6, he says, And one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts, the Lord God of the angel armies. The whole earth is full of his glory. Come on. If you'll go back and look at a footnote in the Hebrew, you don't have to be a scholar. We have technology today. The Hebrew actually reads this way. Not the old English. It reads this way. Right. His glory is the fullness of the whole earth. His point is, wow. you can walk in fullness wherever the glory is manifesting in the earth. Come on. Come on. If you can get into the glory, you'll instantly get into the fullness. Yes. Yes. Which is why you like like this meeting. It's why he prophesies about events and places. He doesn't anoint events, he anoints people. Mm -hmm. But but when he anoints people to assemble the saints, that corporate anointing, that glory comes. Yes. And when people get in that glory, they walk in a place. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yes. They access a place. They do. They they can't get without partnership. Yeah. So I'm just saying sure. there's a divine yes in you that's saying right now. Heaven's talking to me. I've been feeding from this network. I've been blessed by this network daily. My, my, my spirit man is built by this network. Mm. 
And I see now I haven't done my part of the partnership. That other men have labored and I've entered into their labors. You talked about that. All the camera operators, South right. Africa. Think of all the people right now mm -hmm. behind the scenes that aren't sitting here with us. They're not seeing their faces. Come on, come on. That's right. That have amplified our voice because they're willing to serve and sow and give of their time. Many of them volunteers, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. And right now, these partners have gathered together to get this delivering moment to you. I'm telling you, there will be miracles in these broadcasts. And today, yeah. this is your miracle. That's right. That's right. That's right. He sent in the, Lord, the word to heal you. And he's going to deliver you from the destruction, even that you brought on yourself. Hallelujah. The angels of God are right there. They're right Hallelujah. there, right now. Hallelujah. So may the glory come on all the assemblies. Thank you, Jesus. May the glory come now, suddenly now, mm. on every Jesus. home. Thank you, Lord. Every dwelling place. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. By the glory of the Lord on every person. Father, arrest them. This moment. Right now, there is nothing more important than what's happening in their living room, what's streaming through their, their television or on their phone or however they may be watching this. We thank you that the fullness of who you are, nothing missing, nothing broken, no more curse. Amen would Amen. manifest in their lives right Amen. this minute all over the world. I'm telling you, Come you're on. going to start getting reports of healings just right here. We haven't even operated in word of knowledge and Come all on. of that, but Come the on. healer, understand, just don't yes. receive him just as Lord. Lord means he's healer. Yes. Lord means he's baptizer. Lord means he's prosper. He's Come the on. Lord God, Come your healer. He's on. the Lord God, your baptizer. Don't seek the healing, seek the healer. Yeah. And I'm telling you, he is right there. He'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is predisposed uh, to do Jesus. his word. Yeah, and he wants yeah, you to have yeah, everything yeah. he died to provide. Amen. All the promises of God are yes and amen. amen. Right now, so be it all over the earth. May the glory come upon you wherever Jesus you are right name. now. May there be a flood of expectation Jesus that your life name. is about to change radically Thank forever. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The flood's here, brother. It's, I'm the telling you. Floods here. Floods here. The fullness. The fullness. The fullness. The fullness. Praise God. You know, as you were speaking, um, I, again, we didn't plan this. We didn't, did we? It's always a sign. <laughs> but, but I want, I want, I want people to understand. I apologize. <laughs> You know, Proverbs 28, 12 says, when the righteous rejoice, there's great glory. Come yes. on. Come on. <laughs> You're seeing glory in manifestation. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Through the Holy Ghost, I'm telling you. We could, we're going to stay sober for their sake. <laughs> but I think the three of us could just lose it right now. Because another world moves in this room. Come on. Praise Come God. On. Oh, goodness. Moves it, hands. <laughs> Oh, his glory, his glory, his glory. Thank you, Jesus. The kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he, he began. <laughs> woo, <laughs> he, he began to. <laughs> woo, uh, he began to talk to me about the Abrahamic covenant, and uh, he began to talk to me about. <laughs> 
uh, him visiting Abraham and Sarah <laughs> about oh. this time next year. He said yeah. that we talked about a year, that prophecy about a year, you know, right. a year right. from now you're going to have a baby. He said to her about the set time next year. Yeah. And uh, when he visited her, it says she laughed, you know. Abraham laughed. <laughs> 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 and I mean, when you look at the both of them, there's a laugh of faith and a laugh of doubt, you know. And, and <laughs> so God said, uh, why'd you laugh? She said, oh, I didn't laugh. And he said, yeah, you laughed. But he said, uh, he said, I will establish. He said, you shall call his name Isaac. Come on, come on. Yeah. For I will establish my covenant with Isaac. And most people just say Isaac, 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 and they, they, they never translate what the name means. Isaac means laughter. Come on, come on. And God said, I will establish my covenant with laughter. <laughs> you need to understand what's happening here. The covenant's manifesting. All over the world, Come on. the Come righteous on. promises of the covenant are being realized right. because the power of the Holy Ghost is in manifestation right. and operation. Right. This isn't emotionalism. This is faith in its highest form. Yeah, no matter yeah, what's going yeah, on, we're yeah. not walking by sight. We're not in doom and gloom. We're not worried about what's coming because we know what's coming. A flood's coming. Come on. We've got some inside information. That's right. That's right. He that sits in the heavens laughs. Mm -hmm. So he has the enemy in derision. Read it. That's what it says in Psalm. He that sitteth in the heavens laughs. That's right. That's right. So literally we're taking our seat. That's right. Establishing the covenant. <laughs> oh, yeah. the fire, the fire, the fire. Mm. Oh. <laughs> There's a reason they call it joyful, you know. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, yeah. joy's joy full, full of something. Come on, come on. <laughs> joy's, joy's always full of glory. Joy, joy. That's why it's called joyful. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all, it's, <laughs> it's always full. And, and listen, you, you, can, can we follow the river? Go, go, flow, flow, flow oh. with the river. Flow with the river. Oh. Oh, we know this now. We think we know it. <laughs> but see, Romans 15 says there's joy in believing. Come on. Most people think they're in joy and they're in faith when they're in frustration and pushing right. and I believe in right. God. Right. No, no, no. Right. no, 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 no. When you're in fr frustration and faith. Well, faith, the real fruit of faith is joy. When you really believe something, yeah, you're not yeah. nervous about how it's going to turn out. Come you on, don't carry into the on. care of it. You're just fully persuaded about it, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it manifests a fruit. It manifests joy. Of course, patience, but joy. Yeah. And he says in First Peter, and he ought to know about this. He said, wherein you greatly rejoice. <laughs> glory. Come on. And uh, it's what you were referring to about great joy and great glory. Mm -hmm. But this is amazing what he says. That the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perishes. Though it be tried by fire, it might be found mm. under praise and honor and glory at the appearing. Come on. Come on. I'm telling you, I believe that there's, there's a, a greater manifestation of his appearing this year. I'm not talking about the rapture. I'm not talking about him coming to get his saints. Mm. But I'm telling you, the Lord prophesied to me in 2021 that the church was, the true church was going to fearlessly open back up and would see Jesus in manifestation and demonstration like they had never on. seen him Come before. On. You know, the Lord said to me, I was in a meeting in, in uh, Missouri and the glory of God was in the room, thousands of people. I mean, people were literally being picked up and thrown across the stage. I remember having prophecies of a young man. He walked toward me and I would just did like that and he flew across the stage. And uh, then the word of the Lord came and he said, it's not just about seeing the glory. He said, it's about the glory to see. Wow. See, what happened to Moses is when he got in that glory, he could see. It's the spirit of seeing and knowing. Part of the glory is to be able to see territory that belongs to you that you're calling normal, that God calls a curse, that he always intended you to walk in it. Come on, Here, this come glory on. is coming, and he's saying the glory is going to come at the appearing of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen you love, in whom though now you see him not, yet believing you receive with joy unspeakable, full of glory. Now, we quote that, and many times we stop there, but look at this. Receiving 
Most people don't understand that you sow in tears, but you reap in joy. Joy is a receiving mechanism. Right. <laughs> that when joy is in manifestation, you're actually receiving the end of your faith. That's right. That's right. Now, that's what he says right here in, in verse 9, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Mm. Well, certainly we're talking about the salvation of souls, but the word your right there mm. is in italics. Here's what the Amplified says. It says at the same time, Come at on. what time? Come on. At the time you're spinning around in joy, inexpressible joy. You can't even speak. You're doubled over because you're weeping for tears and not because you're sad. You're so full of joy. In exuberant, inexpressible joy at the same time. At the same time as what? At the same time the joy is manifesting and you're flipping around on the floor right, and to the world right. you look like a fool, but to the Holy <laughs> Ghost you're exactly in order. Come on, come on. That's right. At that time, it says, you receive the result, the outcome, the consummation of your faith, the salvation of your soul. Wow. There's some long-standing faith projects. Hmm. I'm talking about people right at death's door that have Come been on. praying Come and believing on. and Come confessing on. and are wondering, why isn't it manifested yet? I just don't understand. And at this moment, the joy of the Lord filled their house, their Come dwelling on. place, in Come the glory. That's right. And That's they're going right. to get out of this. And they're going to stop laughing and realize, uh, wait a minute. While I was laughing, I don't hurt anymore. Oh, that, gro that growth dis disappeared. Come on. I, Come on. I received Come on. it out at the Come same on. time. Amen. At the same time. Amen. At the same time. Amen. At the same time we were laughing, people were receiving all over the world. <laughs> Tumors right. were disappearing. Yes. Oppression was leaving. Yes. Manic depression. Generational curses were being broken. Hallelujah. Things were ripped, being ripped out of folks' souls. Glory to God. Glory to God. I'm telling you, the devil hates it when you laugh. It's his worst nightmare. Because if you're not laughing, the devil thinks he's He's winning. He's not winning. He has no hope. He was crushed 2,000 years ago, and he's a naught. He's nothing. He's declining to his end. He can't win. He has no weapon that can prosper. Nothing he has in his arsenal that my faith won't stop. Glory be to God. Oh, glory be to God. It's your victory moment. Jump up, shout, dance around your living room. I don't care who you are, where Come you are. Come on, yes. The God of the whole earth is invading your space right now. Jesus Check your body. Knees are being healed. Somebody in their right knee, they needed knee surgery. They've had a complete, a complete situation where they literally are wondering, am I going to have to one day have a knee replacement? And God is recreating your knee joint, especially the right. Lift up the hands which hang down. Strengthen the feeble knees. All types of crippling arthritis. All type of degenerating diseases. All type of deteriorating conditions. Eyes that can't see well that were dim now you're not fully blind but you can't glasses don't really help you've been almost legally blind or there's a disparity of vision it's being eyes are being opened degenerative hearing loss is being healed there's someone with osteoporosis and you're straightening up there's a scoliosis person straightening up and you thought this is coming on me as I age I'll, I'll be more stooped over but no just like Jesus released that woman from the spirit of infirmity I lay my hand upon the Green, Brother Andre, Sister Jenny, agents of the Holy Ghost, with the fire of God in our heart and a yes. declaration in our mouth, yes. we send the word to you. You're yes. loose from your infirmity Woo. right now. Rise Jesus up, name. stand up, begin to run. In Somebody Jesus from the name. knees down, all the way from the knees yes. down, their ankles and feet. Come there's on. someone going to testify. Their ankle Come and on. foot, their right foot especially, Hallelujah. felt like, I don't know, they, they couldn't get a healing in it. They felt like they, they needed surgery and they thought something's degenerating in there it's on fire Hallelujah. for the first time it's at least 20 years ago Hallelujah. there's another person with uh, accidents from a car accident on both legs from the knees down and their entire lower legs are being recreated right now while we're talking I'm telling you all talk about running we're not running so you can but we're running with our faith it's a faith race and if you'll receive the words the word of the Lord David said the word of the Lord runneth very swiftly in the earth the word of the Lord's running to you, yes. running in your house, running you around the couch. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Excuse me. I am receiving the result. I'm receiving the outcome. I'm receiving the full harvest of my faith project right now, right here, this day. There's a miracle for your moment. Glory be to God. There's a woman watching right now. She fell and broke her left hip. 
she wonder will she ever be normal again? I see that you've graduated through therapy. You even had a walker at some point in the progress. But you wonder, will I ever be back to normal? And God is recreating your hip joint. And you'll not only be back to normal, to walk normal. You are literally going to be springing, jumping, and running. And the weight of your future will be able to be held on that hip. In fact, all across your lower back, you favored the other leg and it's hurt your lower back. But you're being aligned. The hips are coming in order. It's as if you feel a belt of truth around your midsection. Oh, 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 as soon as I put my hands here, all kinds of digestive tract issues. Oh, oh, even in remote places. Children, I see them. Oh, mothers. I have this word from Jeremiah who said, I heard a voice in Ramah. It was Rachel weeping for her children to come to their own borders and they could not. There's mothers that don't have access to, to food and, and clean water. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And they're in great fear that their children will die. God has heard your cry. Jesus, the weeping. Jesus, Jesus, the weeping of your heart. Jesus, Jesus. He is literally raising. Yes, yes, I hear that, Lord. It, Hebrews 11. Oh. 35, women receive their dead back to life again. In the name of Jesus right now, if you get out of fear and into faith, in a figure like Abraham did Isaac, you can see your child living and not dying. And women will receive their dead back to life again. So in the name of Jesus, here, here, here's a word. All of this is the word for, for, for this situation. And there's more than one person in this situation. When Hagar went out with Ishmael, she ran out of water, and she laid the boy down and said, I can't bear to see him die, and walked away from him about an archer's bow shot. An angel appeared to her. said, Why are you weeping, Hagar? I've heard the voice of the lad where he is. And the angel opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. I'm talking to somebody on, that's been Jesus asking God name. for a fresh water well. Yes. And you don't know it. But God has already set it up. He's already spoken Jesus. to somebody. Some ministry is going to come. Jesus. And they actually have your village, your area, oh. on, on what God has told them to do. They're, you don't even know it yet. They're coming to drill a clean well. Thank you, Jesus. And open your eyes to see it. Use the name of Jesus to believe it. Thank you, because he hears your cry where you I have something so strong on me now, Brother Andre. I'm telling you, it says that when Jesus went about, listen now, he went to all the cities, all the towns, and all the villages. Come on, that's right. You know, it's easy for us to sit here and get caught up in the magnitude of the lights and the camera. And there's somebody watching us, and they're very real. I can see them. Come on, thank you, Jesus. He sees them. That's why he went to heaven. That's, right. That's why we do what we do. That's why we do what we do. He's heard their cry. Mm. And I'm telling you, Jesus doesn't just go to the big cities. The Roman centurion, he sent the word to his house. Peter's mother-in-law, he walked in the house, laid his hand on her. I want you to know, doctors today all over the world, very few of them make house calls. I'm telling you, mm. Dr. Jesus still makes house calls. Thank you, Jesus. He's coming to your house right now, your village. Mm. I tell you, I, mm. I, I, I really don't have words to describe what I sense is happening mm. Mm. about the reports you're going to get from all over the world of the miracles that are taking place. Right. Dysentery, all kinds of things are leaving. You know, Tracy, when, when you were speaking, that's what I saw. Oh, and I, was reminded, I was reminded of a picture. <clears throat> Jenny and I, we've traveled into the most rural parts of Africa. We've taken teams, I've taken my TV crew, we've gone into some of the most rural, rural areas. Yes, sir. And I'll never forget, we drove up to this mud hut. There was a mud hut that had a little tin roof on it, built out of mud. Tin roof and it had a satellite dish attached to it. And it had a solar panel. And we were driving past and the Spirit of the Lord said, stop. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Right. And I drove and I, and I stopped. I stopped at this, this place and we got out the car and there was a, a dear old lady 
she had taken a branch from a tree and made a broom. And she was sweeping with the leaves of the tree. She was sweeping the, the dirt away from the perimeter of her house. She was sweeping the dust to clean the dust. And I, and I climbed out the car and Jenny climbed out the car. And she took one look at us. She just began to almost scream and weep. It's you. It's you. She could not believe it. And through the interpreter, through the interpreter, we, we found out that every day she charges her battery. She has a motor vehicle battery that she charges with a solar panel at daytime. She takes the battery into the house and connects the little TV with a satellite dish. And she watches our channel in her mud hut every night with the solar power. And when she saw us in the most rural part of Zambia, she could not believe that we were there in real life. The power of God, we will never know where the signal goes. Partners, we will never understand. You might be sitting with electricity. You might be sitting with in, a, in a city. But you don't understand as this signal goes into millions and millions of homes. The power of God tonight is going into those homes. It's going into hospital beds. It's going into prison cells right now. The vision, I want you to understand, this is what God is doing. I mean, it wasn't a matter of, of, of what, less than a month ago or maybe six weeks ago, we had that, 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 that camera shot shown to us of a nurse holding a phone of someone lying in their hospital bed with oxygen mask in ICU and the nurse was showing us the TV in the hospital bed was with Faith TV and as we were ministering the word of faith, someone was being healed on a hospital bed in ICU watching a television with pipes and oxygen on their face and the nurse was showing us the picture. You never know where the signal goes. You never know what God has in store. And as you sit in your home there right now, the fire of God, I'm telling you, right now the power of God is touching lives. Here right now the fire of God is moving. There is a healing fire of God right now. You better jump into this river. You better jump into this flood because I'm telling you this river over these next few days is going to be come a flood. This is going to break its banks. It's going to flow. It's going to flow like never before. And I want you to get ready. I want you to get ready. Whatever you believe in God for tonight, get online with us. Get on Facebook right now. Put in the comment section on Facebook whatever you trust in God for. Whatever you believe in for a miracle tonight. There is a move of the supernatural presence of God and you need to connect with us. Put in your prayer request right now. Put in your need right now. Pick up that phone right now. Call that number on the screen. Believe with us. This is the power of connection. God is doing something. He's doing something absolutely mighty. I believe I've got the mind of God and you can take it whatever way you want. But I want to issue a a challenge because while you were talking first of all I want to say that whoever it is that's watching that needs a new kidney you got your right kidney while he was talking literally kidneys were being healed I mean they recreated they, they came alive they again you think you need a transplant God just gave you a brand new kidney you need to report that glory to God I want to challenge the viewing audience that may not be where this sweet lady was that may be in America the United Kingdom wherever you may be watching from and, and of course the app goes all over the world Right. And God has been a, so good to you. He's blessed you. You don't live in that mud hut. You're not sweeping your dirt to clean your dirt. And I want to challenge you. The Lord spoke to me. And uh, this book is not a 2,000-year-old book. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He said to me about television. He said, what you hear in secret, shout it on the rooftops. Come on. Come on. And I had a vision, and I saw satellite dishes and rooftops and antennas all over the world. Yeah. Now, Revelation right now. Right. She had a satellite dish. Come on. That's right. Think of it. A dirt floor. Dirt floor. But a satellite dish and solar to charge up the battery to watch you. And some partner, some partner, Come on. put your voice right. or whoever's voice that was right. by yeah. partnership yeah. on the rooftop. The revelation that Jesus gave them to preach to the whole world came to that rooftop. They shouted it on the rooftop because some partner, who doesn't? Come on. You understand? 
right. so now I, I'm cha- I just sense very strong I should issue and challenge I'm listen I'm talking about kingdom business I'm not talking about fundraising this isn't a telethon or part this isn't even the Holy Ghost is doing this that's all I can say that's right. and he told me to issue a challenge to you right now as I'm Jesus. sitting here will you put faith TV and the powerful faith-filled Jesus. miracle voice of the resurrected Jesus, Jesus will you consider would you be a missionary will you let Andre and Jenny Robert, Raybear, it's Raybear, correct? Raybert. Raybert. Yeah. Uh, the T's strong. I got it now. <laughs> Andre and Jenny Raybert. Will you put Faith TV, will you put their voices, will you put the faith-filled voices that are anointed to go in your place, will you shout the gospel through this network? You may not ever go to Africa or UK or, or these places. They go all your whole life, but you can go there from your chair in your living room every day. Will you shout what you've heard many times in church, what you take for granted, the healing power of God? Will you help shout it to a place where people are dying? I just feel strongly. Will you connect? Will you help us preach this gospel? And what I sensed, unless this is out of order, I felt like we needed, I felt like there's a song that was going to come, an anointing that would come on now. And that as we worship, People will begin to worship and follow what God's saying to their heart. And I just encourage them, act now in this moment. You know, that prophet told the woman, go borrow vessels and don't borrow a few. What I was going to say about those miracles in multiples in the desert, 20,000 miracles at once, was it said they all ate and were filled and were baskets left over. My point is, Jesus didn't determine the increase. The people's hunger did. Correct. That's right. That's right. You know, Tracy, as you're speaking, I felt exactly the same thing. I, f- I felt there's a call there is. today right. to, to respond in this moment financially. There is, there really is. And this is not about any raising of money. This is about understanding the power Connecting. of planting the seed into fertile ground. You know, on Thursday, Friday, I flew up to Brother Ted. I took a blank check with me. And I flew up and I... I asked, I said, I'm, I'm just taking a one blank check and I folded it and put it in my pocket. And I flew up there because I felt that I needed to fly up to Brother Ted's meetings for one reason and one reason only. Yes, to go and receive. Yes. But I needed to sow. Yes. I needed to put a seed in the ground. And I said, Lord, there's got to come the opportunity. I, I'm, I'm waiting for the moment. And the moment came that I knew when they did a call for that tent. And when they did a call for his ministry and, and God supernaturally provided, I was able to write in and fill in the check and I was able to put in exactly what I knew God had placed in my heart as our part towards that tent to get that tent totally paid for in Jesus' name. That he could do what God's calling him to do with a 2,000-seater tent around the nation's year of America. I want you to understand, when there's a moment to give like there is right now, you need to respond. Our breakthrough, our blessing, your breakthrough, your blessing does not come from your giving. No, no. It comes from our giving. Absolutely. As a, as a ministry, when we give, this is what God multiplies when we sow. And I want to tell you, our seed is in the ground. Even Faith Broadcasting yeah. Network seed is in the ground. Jenny and my seed is in the ground personally. This is a moment in time right now. You, 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 you don't want to miss this moment. Jesus. You want to put a seed in the ground. And as you spoke about building, as you spoke about that, that prophetic word, and we're going to get that transcribed, and as, as you just released, I, I want you to understand, this morning, you don't even know this, but this morning while I was coming to the office, I was on conference call, and we were dealing with this acquisition of this facility that I believe God is, is giving us. I believe it's a supernatural breakthrough for this facility. We're having the plans drawn. There is building that has to go into it to to get it to what we want it to be as far as a studio that will house people, that people will be able to come right here in America. What's happening here today, Matt, this this is what our vision is, Matt. What's happening here today, people need to be in an audience. People need to be in the live audience to receive, and we can't do it right now in this little area. All right, we've got less than a thousand square foot here. We can't do it here. We're needing to break through into this new facility that God has given us. But we've also got the dome to finish. 
Now the dome's complete. Everything's done and ready, but there's still beautification of it and, and everything that God's going to do. And I felt God's going to create, even with you guys, there's going to be hubs and pockets all over of a revival breaking out that this network is going to be a part of. And we're going to carry, we're going to carry the move of God from your ministry, Absolutely. the move of God from your son and what God's going to do in the young people with Jordan and your boy as well. And, and, and we're going to carry that. We're going to see a move of God come through this network like never before. That's what I'm excited about. There are testimonies that are flowing in now on Facebook. When we were, when, when we were, when the Holy Spirit yes. was pouring out like that testimonies, people have having encounters, yeah. encounters in the glory of God just by what is happening on this set. That's Let right. me tell you something. You want to sow where the glory is. Yes. You want to sow intentionally where the glory is. And I'm telling you, we have done it personally. We're doing it as a ministry. You sow where the glory is because you reap the fullness. That's right. Just as you said, Absolutely. Tracy, the same thing. When, when you get into that glory, you get into the fullness of God. Yes. Yes. The heavy weight yeah. of His fullness. Sow into that glory, you reap in that glory, you reap that fullness. That's and right. don't delay. Remember, this whole thing is supernatural. It's got nothing to do with the logical reasoning of your mind. It has everything to do with your connection in the spirit. You are spirit first. Glory seed. You are spirit first. Glory seed. Hallelujah. Yeah, Hallelujah. Praise and God. We may, after the worship, look at a verse that talks about exactly what you're saying. Mm. But right now, I sense in my spirit, this needs to be said. So I'm just gonna say very succinctly here, I would never give to a situation where the people you're sowing into aren't givers themselves. Correct. 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 Right. One of the key things that just manifested here is the people are giving to givers. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. And we're, you know, actually to sow seed means to broadcast. People don't realize that your broadcast yes. right. is sowing seed. Right. Yes. It literally, that's the term. Exactly. You're broadcasting seed. That's right. That's what they used to do when they would take it out of the bag. And they would broadcast seed. Yes. Right. Right. Yes. So this is what you're doing all over the world, but because you're givers, God's going to raise it up. And I've got to, you remember when I held your arm and I said, don't say anything else in the natural? Yes. Yeah. This means more than I'm led to or willing to say over the air. Mm. But this is a moment. You're going to see a miracle moment right here. Yes. Jesus said, I will build my church. Come on. Come on. Wow. This is his church. This is his network. You cast all your care on him. He's going to build it from this. I'm telling you as a decree from Almighty God. Mm -hmm. That building is more than a studio. And that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah. I will build my church. Thank you, Jesus. And from what he considers the assembly of his church, other churches will be blessed all over the world. Come on. Come on. Get yourself ready. Mm -hmm. He's building it. Yes. Now, we may talk about the seed and the glory a little bit later if you want to, but yeah, uh, I yeah. think we should worship because I think there's people right now mm. that the Spirit of God is all over them to sow. And oh, yes. He's actually talking to them. Mm. I, I don't normally do this. We're not hucksters. We're not. <sighs> listen, Scripture says you don't give of necessity or compulsion. Mm. Mm. You give on purpose. That's what you did with Brother Ted. That's right. You went to sow. He didn't call and say, hey, can you bring me a check? Right. Intentionally. Right. God brought it to him. God's going to bring your harvest to you. Amen. But there are people right now, God's dealing with you, and I know I'm under the anointing to say it, to step up your seed. I really sense. I don't normally give figures. In fact, I'm cautious to do it now, but there's some figures that are coming in my spirit that I know are going to come. While we worship, Jesus. it's going to be a courageous act on your part. Jesus. It's, for some of you, it might be the largest seed you've actually ever sown. And are these people for real? And is this the right place? Because I see this all the time. I'm telling you, if you'll just listen to the divine yes, you'll know that God's asking you to shout His voice on the rooftops all over the world. Jesus. And you can be a part. God's, God's partnering with you right now. Just step up and do what you're called to do. And it'll come and He will build His church. Yeah. Jesus. 
That's right. Jesus. We've Jesus. always put the seed in the ground at the beginning of a month glory for God. the month. Praise this the is about the glory of God. Yes, it is. This is about a flood. Thank this you. is about Him. Matt, let's sing about Jesus. Let's sing about His greatness. Let's sing about Amen. and worship who He is. Hallelujah. And we're going to give you an opportunity to sow that seed. And watch what God's going to do in these remaining moments that we've got as the word comes. In Jesus' name, let's worship. Jesus. Oh, I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Over every heart and every mind Cause I know there is peace within your presence I speak Jesus yeah. I just want to speak the name of Jesus Till every dark addiction starts to break Declaring there is hope and there is freedom I speak Jesus Sing Cause your name is power Your name is healing Your name is life Break every stronghold, shine through the shadows, burn like a fire. Sing that again. Your name is power. Jesus, your name is power. Your name is healing. Your name is life. Break every stronghold. I just want to speak the name of Jesus over fear and all anxiety to every soul held captive by depression I speak Jesus I sing that again I just want to oh I just want to speak name of Jesus over fear over fear and all anxiety to every soul held captive by depression I speak Jesus cause your name is power your name is here from the mountains and Jesus in the streets Jesus in the darkness over every enemy Jesus for my family I speak the holy name of Jesus sing it again shout Jesus 
Shout Jesus from the mountains and Jesus in the streets. Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name of Jesus. Shout Jesus, shout Jesus from the mountains and Jesus in the streets. Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name of Jesus. One more time, shout Jesus, shout Jesus from mountains and Jesus in the streets yeah. Jesus in the darkness over every enemy Jesus for my family I speak the holy name of Jesus cause your name is power cause your name Shadows burn like a fire. Sing it again, shout Jesus. A shout Jesus from the mountains and Jesus in the streets. Come on, say Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Shout Jesus from the mountains and Jesus in the streets, yeah! Jesus in the darkness, hope for every enemy. Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name of Jesus. You know, his presence has been so strong. Pastor Tracy, the more I'm just sitting next to you, the more I'm getting to know you, the more I'm just feeling it's, it's so God. It's so God for Africa at this time, for the continent of Africa, the UK and around the world. And, 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 and for America, there's, there's, there's such a strong anointing on your life of what God is wanting to do and is doing through your ministry. And um, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I, just, I just know. Jesus, 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 Jesus. 
that this network is going to be a network that will carry the fire of God more than ever. I, I, I don't want anything else, Lord. I don't want regular programming. I, I don't want... I don't want to be known for anything else on this network except carrying the fire of God, the supernatural fire of God. I want us, I want us to, I want us to come to that place where we just, you know, if we could have, if we could have every hour of every day with the move of God, like we're experiencing even right now, that's where my heart is. And I know that's what your program is doing. And and thank you for becoming a programmer with us. Thank you for airing your program with us. And, and uh, you, you need to get Pastor Tracy and you need to follow him and you need to stay in tune with him because God is doing something yes. 11 a.m. Every, every single day, Monday through Friday, right here on the network. 11 a.m. Central African time. Also 11 a.m. in the United Kingdom, same time slot. All right, if you're in the UK, you, you need to watch. You need to be a part because this program is so powerful of what you're doing. And then right here in the USA at 4 p.m. as well, uh, Eastern Standard Time, a great opportunity. And uh, 3 p.m. in British Standard Time on the Faith Now app. So that's just on Faith Now platform. And there's a great time slot over there as well that you can watch. And you can watch on the VOD platform every single one of his programs. Just search Tracy Harris in the search bar. It'll take you to all of his content right there on Faith Now. If you haven't yet subscribed, if you haven't yet downloaded Faith Now, you need to do it. Faith Now is the way of television of the future. It's our, it's our network with multiple channels, with the Victory Channel, Supernatural Channel, all of the different channels that are there airing with us. It's, it's a great package deal that you can receive and be a part of. And then, as we were worshiping, I saw the presence of God. And I saw you ministering to Africa from that great dome. The Lord showed me the dome. And I, and I, I want you to understand, it's, we, we look through this last year of not opening, not opening, not opening, and all the delays and everything that we faced because we, we right now are limited. We cannot have church more than 250 people in South Africa. We're limited. But God has prepared a place to house His glory and His presence. And I want you to see, there it is. That's the dome. It's waiting. And it's waiting for you and I. It's waiting for all of us to be together. And I believe that the partners are going to come from all over. And we're going to worship the Lord together in that place. There's going to be a move of God. You're going to minister. I, I, I want to extend an invite to you to come. And to, to bring your wife and Absolutely. whoever you want and your son and family and whoever you want to come. And, and I, I, I believe that God has linked us for such a time as this. It's a powerful time. And that inside of the dome, I, I just love these pictures always as I watch it. I just see it by faith filled to capacity of people. I see it filled. I see it filled. And there it is standing waiting. Carpets are in, lights are in, sound is in. Everything, the only the LED boards still have to go up, but we're waiting because we're using them in another facility and then we'll cross over and move them. But there it is. It's ready. 11,000 people can be housed in one place. The glory of God. And I feel you have a voice. I feel you have a word for people. So minister, we've got a matter of minutes left to, today and we're going to break bread and have communion before the time's out. But whatever God's laid on your heart for us today, and I know we've got tomorrow, which I'm thankful about, sure. and I know we've got Wednesday sure. as well. So we've got Pastor Tracy with us for these next three three days. But but just just minister whatever God's got on your heart. You're very gracious, sir, and thank you for the freedom mm. and the invitation. Um, I haven't, you know, I'm I'm pretty known for loving the fire of God so much. We just you open the gate and here you go. Right. But my wife's name is Lori, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. and uh, I know she's watching today, couldn't be here, and sent her love as I greeted you on the way in. And I just want to let all of the network to know that uh, Lori and I both, our heart's cry is that you would know Jesus, the resurrected Lord all over the world. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He visited us when we were very young. We've been partners now all these years, and, and uh, we're so thrilled now to see our children around the world just like you are, and I'm grateful. And uh, so I want to say, first of all, hello to her and to thank you to her 
for the sacrifices she makes, you know, to allow moments like this. Right. All of these are right. seeds. Right. Yes. And I can't wait till you get to meet her, of course, and thank you for the invitation. I'm extremely humbled. I, uh, I do have something that the Lord laid on my heart for just a moment. And before I actually get to that verse, though, I, I want to say something about the glory in this seed. Right. These partners have gotten the seed in the ground. Come on, come on. And we'll see, you know, I trust we'll get to it, but as you mentioned, we have three days. Right. Yes. So in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, there's something very powerful about this <clears throat> because it talks about here in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 42. And he says, so is the resurrection of the dead. So also is the resurrection of the dead. Well, that phrase tells us he's been talking about something before that. Come on. He's comparing the resurrection to it. Now I'm going to read what he says about the resurrection and then we'll read back down to it. Okay. Right. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It's sown. You hear the phrase? Yep. Sown. Yeah. It's sown in dishonor. Oh, well, listen to this. It's raised in glory. Come on. <laughs> it's sown in weakness. But it's raised in power. Now listen, this is a key phrase right here. It's sown a natural body. But it's raised. There is a spiritual body. Now when you back up, we see clearly he's talking about planting, sowing and reaping. Because as you back up, he says, verse 36, because he's talking about the resurrection. Right. right. And he says, thou fool. Verse 36, that which you sowest is not quickened, which that word means made alive, except it die. <laughs> and that which you sow, you sow not. Now, here's the key phrase right here. You don't sow the body that shall be, but bare grain, if any chance of wheat or of some other grain. But listen to this. But God gives it a body. as it hath pleased him, and to every seed his own body. Right. Now later he talks about the glory of the terrestrial is one, but the glory of the celestial is another. And he says, so is the resurrection. So he's basically saying that when we operate in this law of sowing and reaping, mm -hmm. that the entire kingdom moves on the back of a seed. Realize that he was sown. Jesus is the ultimate seed. He wanted to get his kingdom in the earth, and so he planted a seed. The entire, the whole kingdom right. transfers on the back of a seed. So when he planted Jesus, we were planted together with him in the likeness of his death, but we were raised in newness of life according to his resurrection, and Romans says he was raised by the glory of God. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to attach is the glory that you mentioned, the fullness of the glory, coming on your sowing. So many people, they hear that and they think that's just, uh, well, that's religious preacher talk. Sure. No, 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 Come on, come on. No, 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 no. This is, this is the glory of resurrection power that raised Jesus from the dead. Right. Come on. It's what takes a natural body, something, something that is in your hand by covenant and, it, and you release it from your hand and it leaves your hand but it doesn't leave your life. It leaves your present and it goes into your future yes. because the, the life that's in that is not the dollar bill or whatever it is and whatever currency the around the world, yeah. the rand or, you know, the pound or whatever it might be. No, it's the faith in it. Come on. That's the life. You're right. That's the life. Every seed has a husk, right? And that husk has to die and fall away. That, that's the natural part so that the life can be released for the real body. God gives it a body. It's the life that gives it the body. So Jesus was sown in a natural body. And actually it says on the cross, the body of sin was destroyed. So that means that what he looked like on the cross, he was so marred that even God the Father turned his head. He didn't even look like a man. In that death, he said, if I'm like a kernel of wheat, if, unless I fall on the ground and die, I cannot bring, I'll, I'll abide alone. This is what people don't get. Right. When they have a seed, when you trust in that seed, and you think that seed is the value. 
then you don't realize you're holding in your hand your future. And what you're doing is you're saying, this is all I've got. But when it falls into the ground, it brings forth. It reproduces itself. And according to this, you sow a natural body, but God gives it a body, a harvest. God puts his resurrection power, his glory on it, and God gives it a harvest from channels. That car dealership is not your source. That banker is not your source. That person that in church that says, I'm led to... No, no. Right. He's the source. Kingdom's the source, which is why you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All these things get added. We don't have to run, spin, and toil to make it work. We're not trying to, that's religious con jobs. That's knocking on the door, won't you help me? We're, we're not trying to get you to move in the natural. In fact, I'm trying not to get something from you. I'm trying to get something to you. I'm trying to get revelation to you, number one, yes. of what you've just done. Because none of it gets harvested without faith. Faith is what works the impossible. It's what connects Come heaven on. and earth together and what releases the miracle on the seed. In fact, Jesus said so. Jesus said that if you had faith as a grain of mustard seed, people miss this. Right. But he said, you would say. And people don't realize that faith works like a seed. He's not talking about the size of your faith. He's not saying you have to have a little bit of faith. That's not what he's saying. He's saying here's how it works. If faith is a law that sets the law of seed time and harvest in motion, and it works like a seed. And the way you plant a seed is to say something. And too many people don't know that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. That I can show you a number of scriptures where it basically says, why take ye thoughts saying? Yeah. What they don't realize is the word of the Lord came and they thought, well, that's just me, my imagination. Well, I've got all these bills to pay. And while we were worshiping, while the word of the Lord was going, that wasn't us ministering and talking to them. That was their inner man, their conscience. The Holy Spirit was talking to them. And he was really talking to them about their future, but they didn't realize it. They, many of the people that are watching, they thought that God was talking to them about their money. And what he's trying to do is to administrate seed to you. He's trying to administrate. Add, he's trying on, to add right, to your ministry. Right. By ministering seed to you that you can't get where he's trying to take you in three jobs or five lifetimes or one day of favors worth a thousand days of labor. It's just impossible to get where your seed will take you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. You go where you sow. So what's happening here is the glory of God that was in this room is coming off all this oh, oh, on top Amen. of the giving. Amen. Amen. And I wanted the people to connect that when they released what's in their hand, supernaturally, at, at the same time, God released what was in His. Yeah. Praise God. Because every law of God's reciprocal. Right. And you know what it says to whom much is given, much is required. Yeah. Well, we, we put that one way almost all the time. As preachers, we tend to say God has given us everything. He has the right to require everything. And that is the truth. There's no doubt that's the truth. But this is a covenant. Mm -hmm. So something begins to happen when you put a seed in the ground. The earth has to give it what it needs to grow. In other words, it, literally a seed on the shelf places no demand on the system to grow it. Mm -hmm. But you put it in the ground, it starts placing a demand on the elements. It's got to have what it needs to grow. Come so on, it makes, on, it on. activates a process of drawing. That's, that's good. It activates the supernatural process. It doesn't matter what you put in the ground, a seed will grow. But you can take a metal post and put it in the ground and eventually it will rust and corrode. Why? The ground's attacking it. It's trying to yep. grow it. The ground was made to grow stuff. Yep. Right, right. Well, so is our spiritual engine, our heart. Yes. And so when, we, when you planted that seed, you sovereignly and supernaturally may not realize what you did, but you literally used the authority in your life Hallelujah. to open the door to your future. Hallelujah. You know, what makes a man different than an animal is the ability to sow and reap. Literally. The fowls of the air, he said, they don't sow, no, they reap, gather the bark, but you God feeds them. Just to get our need met, Come on. it's not increased. Powerful. God meets the bird's needs. God meets the cow's needs. He, you understand? Yes. yes. But a man is the only species of being in the God class that can change his future of what he's going to have tomorrow by what he sows today <laughs> by a decision and releasing his faith and putting it in the ground. It's so wow. good. Wow. That it's means so good. seed has dominion. Right. Yes, it does. Come that on. means the Come moment on. you decided, when that thought came and you planted that seed, you released a glory on your future. Yep. 
It caused an opening into a realm. That's what happened to Cornelius. He wasn't even a covenant man. He was a, a, a centurion. But in Acts 10, the angel appeared and said, Your alms and your prayers have come up for a memorial. Yeah. Go, he sent the angel to him and said, Go get Peter. Peter had an open come vision. On. Come on. Peter went from a national ministry. Because for 10 years, he was told to go to the world. But he couldn't get outside the Jews. His religious tradition right. had him bound. Right. But Cornelius is sowing. Now, couldn't God have called John? Couldn't God have told James? Couldn't any one of them told Cornelius' household how to be saved? Why did he send for Peter? Because Peter needed it just as much yeah. as Cornelius needed it. Right. He had to have something broken because he went that day from a national ministry just to the Jews to into his destiny, which 10 years before Jesus told him to do, right. Right. to the Gentile world, to an international ministry overnight. And what opened it up was a seed. Everything we'll ever do, it's a seed that opened it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And you just opened your future with that Thank seed. You, and I've got one more thought. And uh, I want to maybe, if we could raise our hands to the people Amen. and uh, their seed and over their seed. Hallelujah. Now, there's a reason that he talks about tithing going through the hands of the priest is because he wants part of people's offerings and their tithing to go through the anoint there's an anointing of increase. Come on, yeah. come on, come on. If it passes through the priest's hands, what comes on the first fruits comes on the rest of their income. Everything that's right. They're, they're everything they have. And so in Galatians, this is really a powerful verse. But um, uh, let me uh, let me get here. <clears throat> let me find it in just a second. I apologize because I didn't prepare to go this direction at all. But um, you know, why, Please talk why, while I'm doing this. Why, I wonder, why are you finding that? I saw something very interesting this week that I've always known, but it really touched my heart this week when I was up at Brother Ted. There was a young lady, and it was a time for giving in the offering. And she walked forward, and I never put two and two together, and everyone was bringing their envelopes and their gifts to put in the offering bowl that was at the front. And this young lady walked forward with her phone. Yeah. And she walked to the front with her phone, and I watched. And she took her phone, and she almost put her phone in the offering bowl. And as she did it, she hit send. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. And it was like a super, and God spoke to me about that. <laughs> I see that. God spoke to me. He said, see that. We, have, we have moved away from bringing our offerings yeah, yeah, into yeah. that place because we've all digitized it. We've all gone digital with it. So act, and, physical and the physical of act releasing. of yes. putting it in the ground at that moment yes. and releasing it, even although she was still doing it digitally, she was visibly she did that act of faith. Act, doing That's the beautiful. act of faith and hitting send at the same time. So and this is what God said to me, and, and, and He reminded me as you were speaking. Tonight, I, I believe that, that we need to always come to that place in our hearts when we give, and, and even as we stretch our hands out in a moment, which we're going to do, as we stretch our hands out in a moment, and as you take that digital device, and as you, you now many of you might have put your seed in the ground, that's all right, but, but I want it always to be an act every of time. faith, every yes. time. And, and so I, I'm, I'm feeling something in my spirit, oh, even for is, tonight. That's beautiful. I understand, and not only that, yeah. but... You know, typically, I mean, I know where this verse is, but this is, it was, un I really believe you were supposed to share that. Yeah. That that was critically important for what I'm going to say. It's just a statement. But uh, what's powerful about that is in Malachi 3, before I read this verse, he said, bring you the tithe. Bring. That's right. And the Come reason on. he did is he wants, and I say this, it's kind of funny to most, but I say it's because he wants ye there. Mm. Correct. Mm. That, that offering you send represents you before God. That's right. It's a part of your life. That's yes. right. Yeah. It is. And uh, it, it, it's, you know, so as we look at this, it says in Galatians 3.16, a simple statement, now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. Mm -hmm. I read that one day and it came off the page. Mm -hmm. And I heard the word of the Lord say, I've made a promise to every seed. Wow. Wow. Every, every seed. seed. The God <laughs> of the universe yes. 
has made a promise. Praise God. Has attached a, a promise to heavenly seed. decree. Come on. To every seed that's being sown today. Hallelujah. Mm. Wow. And he, that is. What a good God. That's powerful. Oh, what a good God. I mean, this, it is so important. And uh, I see now what the Lord's doing because Galatians 6, a part of what is really on my heart very strongly is you will reap in due season if you faint not. Yes. And uh, the Lord just said something specific to me about these days and some things He was going to do. And as we just follow the river yes. at the right time in every way, yes. we'll get yes. to those utterances yes. That's right. through you, from the Holy Spirit, by worship. Yeah. But right now, I sensed so strongly, His hand was on this so strongly today. Yes. He wanted this done. Oh, yes. Right. <laughs> it was obvious, yes. Right. That Completely we don't control. need to rush through this to try to make something happen. No. <laughs> Right. <laughs> because there is a divine hovering of the Holy Spirit over oh, every seed yeah. right now. I'm just telling you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm telling you, Thank you Jesus. that there's a supernatural. You know, Isaac was instructed to sow in famine. Mm. Scripture talked about him receiving a hundredfold. Oh, yes. We, we don't have to get into this in detail. I can prove it's a blood sworn oath. This is not just an aberration or like Jonah and the whale. Absolutely, yes. The hundredfold is actually a blood sworn oath. Mm. God gave to Abraham and his seed. That's why it worked for Isaac. I can take you, track you through the scripture and show it to you. Mm. But most people start trying to do math and say a hundred times. No, no. A hundredfold totally is, is fullness. That's exactly right. That's right. And he doesn't even limit it to a hundred times. It could be no. ten. You know, you a cow can't, you can can't have, do it. In the you can't do it that way. You know, a cow can have two calves mm. or a goose can lay 24 eggs. See, every seed reproduces. He's talking about the fullness, the fullness the coming fruit. on every seed, the maximum yield. Praise right. God. Right. There is an anointing <laughs> here. He made a promise that when my glory gets on your seed, I will create maximum yield just like it did for Isaac. Yeah. In yeah. that same yeah. year yeah. when everybody else had famine. Come on. In a year of COVID when it looks like you can't gather together. How is God going to underwrite the ministry? Well, it's His ministry. Come on. He brings it. He right. does it. He yeah. causes people to. He, 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 and, he, and He's doing it for your future as well. So what's <laughs> happening here is there's a promise Beautiful. made to every seed. And one of those promises we read out of 1 Corinthians 15, He gives, God gives it a body. Mm, mm. <laughs> he on. made a promise to give your seed a body. Right. You might need a new car, and you might have a one-time seed, and you're saying, I've saved up this money, it can't buy the car I need, and God's telling me to give it away, and it took me this long to get And I'm telling you, when you release what's in your hand, God will release what's in your His hand. Come on. And what I'm saying, that's the point. That's you're not right. sowing a car, but you can reap one. Yeah, yeah. You're not sowing. See, He takes the husk off of it. He takes the check out of it, the digitized punch of the button out of it, or, or, or the dollar bill of the rand out of it. That's the natural husk. Any limitations. But the carrying of it is the very yes. life that faith produces because you it came from your heart and you got it into the ground wow. of preaching this gospel on the rooftops around the world. And according to Jesus, when you attach your seed to the preaching of the gospel, it brings its highest yield. It's lighting the candle. Wow. No wow. man lights a candle puts it under a bushel. So what you've basically done with your seed is you've, you've sown into people that can do right now what you're either not called to do or don't have the ability to do. So literally, you just went to multiply nations and more than one continent and yes. you did it from your living room. And God said, I attach a promise to Praise this. God. If you will connect to this. That's what God is saying. Come on, yes. come on. There's a promise to, to every seed, and I will do for you the same type of a miracle I did for Isaac. And what he meant was maximum yield. Maximum yield. In the way you need it the most, mm -hmm. a divine harvest this year, unlike Jesus anything you've ever man. seen. Come on. Prove come me on. now here with, saith the Lord of hosts, and I'll pour out the blessing. Praise so God. the blessing's being released, the anointing's being released, and it's the anointing that produces it. That's and right. I'm telling you, right. uh, the yoke of poverty's being broken. Right. I mean, I, I'm sensing right now, oh, wow, wow, wow. I don't normally do this, but I, I, I am I, in the ministry. We yeah. sow, I'm a pastor. Yeah. Listen, yeah. I think there are pastors and churches watching. Yeah. Yes. And they are in literally, like Paul said in 2 Corinthians 8, deep poverty. They can't get their building project done. They just can't move forward. I believe Jesus. this is a divine moment. Mm -hmm. If they would consider sowing a seed from their ministry, yeah. Mm -hmm. or maybe, maybe there is a head of a business and you just can't figure out how to get the employees you need and for whatever reason, it's plateaued or gone down and you're thinking, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it afloat. 
If you would consider doing what Peter and they did when Jesus borrowed their boat and he pushed out a little bit and preached from it. Mm. If you would let them preach from your company by sowing a seed to help them preach. You don't have to give them the whole boat. Just let them use part of your boat right. to preach from. Right. God's going to do yeah. something. I yeah. don't know. This yeah. is a really supernatural offering. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this, Tracy. I want you to stretch your hands out. I want Father, the cameras. Put, put them close together over here. Yeah, yeah. Get them close where, where, into where this we camera. Here? We're going to go this into one? this camera. I want the camera on your hands. Okay. Okay, so put your hands together there, and I want the camera in on Tracy's hands, and I, I feel to do this tonight, right now. We're stretching out our hands right now. Get that camera in nice and tight on those hands. Okay, Kristen, tighter, please. I want just the hands as tight as you can. That camera, there we are. That's what I want, as tight as you can. Okay, which camera? Where are we? Okay, sorry, that one. Just shift your hands that way, Tracy. Tight in on your hands, okay? This is what I want you to do. I want you at home, and Tracy, I'll, we've got a matter of minutes left, and we're going to break bread still, but I want you to pray. I want every one of you, we're going to have a chain reaction here right now. I want you to get up in your living room. As Tracy's praying, I want you to run to the TV screen. I want you to Lord lay God. your hands Jesus on that screen, Jesus on that device, oh, wherever you are right the now. Fire right God. now. Oh. You just pray, and you touch there. You receive the chain of the anointing of God that's going to come. Just minister right now. By the authority of the name of Jesus, the name above every name whom he appointed heir of all the worlds and had inherited a name more excellent than every one of them. Now in the name of Jesus, I command the increase, the blessing to come on your seed. Harvest, come to every sower now in Jesus' name name by Hallelujah. the authority of that name. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for miracles, signs, wonders, mighty deeds, angelic involvement, supernatural witty inventions, visitations, dreams, all types of things that no human can even explain. Now in Jesus' name, harvest, come to the people of God. Bless them with breakthrough in every area of their lives by the authority of the name of Jesus. Wow, wow. Hallelujah. Something happened. Wow. Something happened. Wow. Now, now get your get your cup. Get your bread yes, right sir. now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Quickly, Jesus. just get it. We, we, we're going to break bread right now. We are going to seal this entire time in the presence of God right now. What a, what a time we've had tonight. I tell you, a release came right now, right now. I'm telling you, the fire of God touched you. There's people laying in their living rooms right now. There's people laying in their bedrooms right now. There's people that are under the power of God right now. Something happened. Brother Andre, yeah. uh, I, mean, I mean, this is a snippet. While I was praying, I just saw what you were talking. This isn't a momentary moment. This, this, there's an anointing here that's going to cause harvest on this seed. Right. So but it's literally breaking the spirit of poverty. Come on. Yes. Come on. Off oh, of their lives. That's right. Something right. is going to happen. They're, they're getting on top of the wave, like riding it. Come on. Jesus Come on. Name. Glory to God. Thank you, Glory God. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lead us in the bread Jesus. and the cup, Tracy. Oh, my, my. Father, the Eucharist means Bless to give thanks. Jesus. Yeah. Bless you. That's the Greek word. It literally means to give thanks. So, Father, he lifted the bread and the cup. Thank yeah. You, thank you. And we see that it is that that he did. He said, this is my body, take it. And he broke it. Yes. And he gave it, Jesus, and they ate it. Jesus. May it be today, Father, that when he was broken on the tree, he was giving something we couldn't do in our own strength. And if we will take it and eat it, our lives will be forever different. Just like Moses putting the tree in the water with dysentery, and the waters were made pure. We thank you, Father, that you made a covenant with your people today Jesus. in every sphere of their lives, spiritually, yes. Yes. emotionally, Jesus. Jesus. physically, financially, family, socially, even their destiny is about to change yes. because of the yeah. common union, the communion thank you, that's taking place. We thank you for the body Jesus. which was broken for us, and we receive it and we eat it unto the health and the divine Zoe life prosperity Amen. of God. <laughs> we receive it in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Likewise, he took the cup. 
Because the same night he was betrayed, he took bread. So the spirit of betrayal is being broken right now for your life. Rejection, all kinds of things are leaving. This is the new covenant in my blood. Received and shed for the remission of your sins. Drink it and drink all of it. All of the promises of God are yes and amen. The cup of blessing is in this cup. We receive the entirety of the new covenant into ourselves this day. Amen. So be it. Wow. Thank you, Father, for the Thank increase. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the blessing, the deliverance, the help. Mm. Mm. Thank you that manic depression, suicidal depression, all types of disorders, Jesus. learning disorders, all type of schizophrenia, Jesus. miracles of a sound Jesus mind. Name. Thank you, Father. Jesus. Peace Jesus be still. Name. Hallelujah. To the people watching today. Jesus Amen. Name. Amen. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. What a night. What a night. Thank you, Tracy. Thank I you love so you. Much. I'm so honored to be here. Wow, wow, what a night. Whoa. I'm very honored to be here. Now Thank listen. you both so much. Wow. It's, it's been great. It's been great. <laughs> listen, you don't want to miss tomorrow night. You want to gather, you want to share the word. I'm Jesus. telling you, the fire of God tomorrow night. We have stepped into something oh, in May man. that is, is a flood like Hallelujah. never before, the month of the flood. Hallelujah. May, this is what it's going to be, Jesus a flood of His name. glory, a flood of His presence, a flood of the blessing of God over your life. Amen. Now we're going to be with you tomorrow night from 6 p.m. Central African time, 5 p.m. British Standard Time, and 12 noon right here, Eastern Standard Time in the United States of America. Hallelujah. And I want to encourage you to join us. Tracy's going to be with us live again tomorrow night. And Wednesday night is our Zoom night with all of you as well. So it's going to be great. We've got three powerful nights you don't want to miss. Yep. Don't forget his program tomorrow morning on TV, 11 a.m. Central African time and British Standard Time. You can get Tracy Harris direct right here on this channel, the channel of choice. So we just want to thank <laughs> like you so much. We love you. Like we appreciate you. you. Thank you for allowing us in your home. All right. And we bless you. Woo! We'll we bless see you, you tomorrow night. All that's left to say is Matt and the band. Come on, take us home. Oh, your name is your name is power. Your name is healing. Your name. Stronghold, shine through the shadows, burn like the fire. Your name is power, your name is power, your name is healing, your name is life. Break every stronghold. Shadows burn like a fire. Shout Jesus, shout Jesus from the mountains and Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. We say, Jesus for my family, I speak the whole. Jesus, one more time, shout Jesus, shout Jesus from the mountains, and Jesus in the streets, yeah, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy, I speak Jesus from my belly, I speak the holy name of Jesus. Power.